Today we are going to be doing a comparison between two uh, important data science applications and that is Python versus R. R it can also be R Studio. So if you're a beginner data scientist or beginner machine learning uh, student or beginner computer science student that want to choose an application to use for data science, then this is where you need to be. I'm going to explain the difference between these two are uh, based on these seven criteria. And for not get like not gets like this, please click on subscribe button below. All right, so let's go to the first one. Ease of learning. Now I'm saying this based on my experience and based on experience of many other people who I've worked with. So it's not something I assume, it's something that is exactly the way it is. Ease of learning, I can tell you that Python uh, is good. You can easily learn Python, but when you want to learn R, you can find out that in about uh, a few hours, you can get up to speed with R. The reason is because R is designed like every other application that you uh, that is interactive. Let's say MATLAB, you have Statistica, you have even the DOS command prompt. So you can actually type and get your result without having to be click, without having to click on the mouse, use a mouse click. So what we mean is that, for instance, if you have here you have, um, okay, now I'm going to play my screen. So if I say 3 uh, plus 4, now this is what we have. Now I'm going to go to Python. Uh, I'm going to, at this point, I'm going to just start a new file, a new Python 3 notebook. Okay, so in case of Python, I could say 3 uh, plus 4. But now I need to actually click on the run button to run it. So this is just an example. You see, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's almost the same thing, but for when you want to do something, you need to really type fast and be getting results and be using the result as you move. Uh, R beats Python in this case of ease of learning. So you cannot, I think I've mixed up ease of learning and ease of use at the same time. So ease of learning, R kind of is easier to learn than Python, so in this case we can give it to R. So for ease of learning, uh, we are giving to R wins here. For ease of use, R wins as well. So I'm going to also give to R. So we have two, um, two, two down for Python and two up for R. So community. Now, community means a uh, number of people who are out there who are also doing the same, uh, who are also in the same field of data science using the same application. Now, if we compare the, the community for R and Python, you find out that uh, Python actually exceeds R in the number of users, let's say about over two weeks to one. So, community for Python users is, a, is about two times the number of uh, community of users for R. So in terms of number of uh, users, you have uh, Python beats at this time. And why community is important is at some point you may have some challenges and you need some support or some, some assistance in some project you, are, you need to work with. And that is why the community is there to always help you. If you go to Stack Overflow and some other, um, uh, other web forums, you have more Python users out there to help you. Now, libraries. Um, libraries are very important in programming because they give you more features to use to carry out certain functions in writing programs or, or doing some data analysis. Now, both of them have a rich set of libraries. For instance, if I go to R, I can go to packages. And I can easily find a number of packages I can easily install. Again, you can easily install it by just clicking on it and just click on install. That makes, makes easy, that it makes it that it's, R is very easy to use. But in case of Python, you have, uh, let me see if I can get to where I can have Python models, uh, models in Python. Uh, let's see, okay, models. Let's say Python module, module repository, Python module repository, okay. So let's check here, so, um, okay, good. So here you can have, uh, oh no, this is not where I want to go, um, but you can see a number of projects in Python, 
but I actually looking for models. Okay, I can't find the repository, but when it comes to number of packages, libraries, and models, uh, tools are there for you to use to do things you want to do. Python actually has more than R, so Python actually leads in this case. Now, free data sets, of course, free data sets are there for Python and R online. You can get free data sets that has nothing to do with the tool and then import them into Python or R to use. But in case of R, let's see, in case of R, you have data sites that are already inbuilt into R that you can easily use while inside your application. For instance, if I go to, if I come here and if I go to packages and go to ISLR, that is just one of them, you can see, says document, uh, it says um, data for an introduction to statistical learning with R. So it contains inbuilt data set, and this is just one package that contains a whole lot of data set. You can see auto data set, caravan, cassette, and so on. Again, if I go to mass, there's a different a different package, you could as well see a whole lot of data sets. So you can see support function and data sets for vehicles for va variables and replace mass. I don't know what that is. So you can see data sets arranged in alphabetical order. Yes, just a whole lot of them you can use in R just for free. So when it comes to free data sets, R leads uh, in this in this case. Flexibility. Now, when we talk about flexibility, we are talking about the much you can do with each of them. Now, what what the both of them have is library. Both of them have libraries, but the fact that Python has more libraries than R, it means that uh, you can actually. Oh, what what did I do here? So, as for data sets, I think R leads, not Python. So for flexibility, we have Python have rich set of data sets that can help you do much more than you can do with R. So in that case, we can say that in case of flexibility and what you can achieve with both of them, we can say that Python actually leads. Let's now come to flexibility, to portability. Portability means you can move your data or your code across between different platforms, different operating systems, transfer it online through uh, the web. In that case, Python actually have a strong point because it uses Jupyter Notebook, and Jupyter Notebook is a browser-based application. So we can say uh, it's not really Python in itself, it's actually Jupyter Notebook. So in this way, we can actually give both of them, uh, it's actually a draw in this, in this case. So let's now summarize. If you are a beginner, a beginner the data scientist, I recommend you go to R, learn R, because for beginners, R is very easy, easy to learn, easy to use, easy to make fast progress if you are a beginner data scientist. But if you are experienced data scientist, maybe a computer science uh, student that have actually learned so much in statistic, statistics, mathematics, and data analytics, then most likely you could easily move on with Python. So I'm going to stop here. I'd like to thank you for viewing. For not gets like this, feel free to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video. And let me know if there's something you would like me to do, uh, something you like about this video. And feel free to share this um, around among your friends. I remain kind on the genius and I'm always there for you.